What's up candy boys, Nick Nitro here. As many of our viewers know we like to feature and preview a lot of upscaling technology here on this channel. So with that being said, we're proud to announce a new cooperation project with HitPaw and their suite of photo, video and audio enhancement products. Started in 2019, HitPaw maintains a position as a leader in AI upscaling services and we've been fortunate enough to receive an invitation to sample their photo enhancement tool. After downloading and installing HitPaw Photo Enhancer for Windows or Mac OS, upscaling your photo can be as easy as drag, drop and export. The photo enhancer is simplistic in its setup, but ultra-functional to fit what needs to be improved for a given photo. The images I've selected for this tutorial are from the early smartphone days, before the maturation of fancy sensors, integrated post-processing, and HDR features. Starting off with this iPhone 3G picture of the submarine I was stationed on in 2008, you'll immediately notice the noise, graininess, and lack of resolution. So, let's run down the list of the AI models and which one, or ones, might best fit to correct these visual imperfections. Face model, as the name suggests, is best for improving low-quality portraits and face resolution and has three different improvements to adjusting a softer or sharper image. Next is general, which is good for buildings, landscapes, and animals. Depending on the source image quality, the general model gives you the option to focus on quality or speed of the upscale. Denoise, as the name also implies, will work to eliminate the bulk of the graininess in a low-quality image. Colorize, aims to colorize black and white images. Color calibration will work to correct saturation and underexposure. Scratch repairs will attempt to correct imperfections in physical photographs, such as scratches, fold creases, etc. Lastly, low light is ideal for brightening photos taken in low light environments. I'll kick this off with the denoise model at a 200% upscale, based on the severity of graininess. Wow, what a difference! <laughs> I did not initially expect these types of results on the first try. You can immediately see the detailing in the water, variations in the paint on the hull and a sharpened hull texture. I'm going to designate this as a successful initial test, so I can export and save for later use. It's pretty remarkable what the upscaling algorithms are able to pull from the initial photo. I would expect similar results if I took the resolution to 400%, but let's move on to another model. Next up, a photo from Creation Entertainment's STLV convention from 2019, a fan photo with none other than Star Trek's John Delancey. Unfortunately, the photo appears to have mistakenly been taken as part of a burst shot and therefore the quality was greatly diminished. Let's see if the face model can upscale this once in a lifetime photo. First I'll select the face or faces the enhancer should focus on, in this case, Delancey's only. I'll leave the soft mode selected for now as I need a reference enhanced image to determine if sharpness is required. Next, I'll set the resolution to a 200% upscale. Preview, and BAM! Another great result, increased fidelity, detailing and sharpness, particularly around Delancey's face as expected. Lastly, time to export this enhanced image and attempt another model. Now I want to try out the low-light model, so I'll go ahead and select a photo I took on an iPhone 3GS in 2010 of downtown Buffalo, New York. Selecting low-light, setting resolution upscale to 200%, now it's ready to preview. Color me surprised. The colors definitely pop with how much brighter everything is. Mobile phone cameras 10 to 15 years ago had fairly limited apertures, I could definitely see this as a step one enhancing feature to improve older low-light images. In the Thanksgiving spirit, I have here a photo of a Thanksgiving meal that I cooked in 2012 New York City, and shot on a Lumia 920 converted to grayscale. Let's see what the colorized model comes up with at a 200% upscale. Pretty interesting results, I remember the countertop being more grey and the towel was blue, but this is definitely an impressive approximation. I'll have to dig out some of my grandmother's old photo albums and digitize them, I really think it would blow my family's mind to see some of those old memories injected with some color. This concludes our tour of HitPaw's photo enhancer, but I want to thank HitPaw for supporting this channel and giving us the opportunity to explore and keep the lights on. To our viewers, thank you also and please be sure to check out the links in the description to hop on their Black Friday sale. A phenomenal sale on a very promising product, be sure to check out the rest of the suite as well. Thanks again everyone, happy Thanksgiving, Nitro, out.